Yeah, and, and a tough good. one for Oryx, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? Uh, I, I believe, at least given the, the matchup history between these two, uh, I know that Corrin deals with a lot of... Peach's stuff pretty well. Exactly that. Exactly that, yeah. That, I mean, it is just... It, it's tough for Peach to sort of threaten Corrin in the same way that, you know, she can do a lot of other characters because, you know, frankly, you know, Corrin's got the big sword and a lot of really safe frame data on Whiff, yep. which is sort of the best thing that you can have against Peach. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna see, I, I'm interested to see this one play out. I've never seen these two play before. I'm sure they have played before, for sure. Mm -hmm. Stop the battle. Honestly. I'm, I'm literally pulling up PG stats right now so that I can <laughs> see the player matchup. I wanna, I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know. I want a thousand. Man, Phil Collins did not have to go that hard. Yeah, he absolutely did. He, he went nuts though. <laughs> And I could not be happier for it. Started off. Shattuck obviously on the corn. Shout out to the Shattuck fans in the chat. I'm sure there's an army of you. Oh, I mean, who doesn't love to watch Shattuck play, right? I mean, this kid is just Different. electric. Yeah. Good. It, you you watch him play, and he 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 just seems to have a like a, a conversation with with the game, like a, a, an understanding of the game on a mechanical level that so few people do. That down tilt was crazy coming out from Oryx. Already got the decent percent lead, not too much. All right, it's gone. Pin is that bud. And yeah, I am looking at this in their set history. Shattuck and Oryx have played twice, and both times was a 3-0 victory for Shattuck. So Interesting. Well, third set we... that they played at this point, Oryx is going to look for a turn Try to get one, hopefully. <laughs> at least one game, but of course, you know, he's the just... kind of guy to look for a whole set. Yeah, might just get cooked. We'll oh, see. It's right. looking pretty even right now, I'd say. Yeah, well, oh, Shattuck. never mind that back air. The great equalizer. <laughs> Self spaces and it's a kill move. No, it's not the low. shot that clank with Parasol. This game sucks. <laughs> okay, and the Finn just closing out the first stock. And you can see even there, right? Like, Oryx had the perfect DI. Yeah. It's not enough because Shattuck knows. Yeah, it just cooked. Baked like some beans. <laughs> we'll push and bake beans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, the back air. You know the secret family recipe. See if Oryx can get a little ledge trap going on here. Probably oh, the fair. Here's the juggles. Drops, unfortunately, from Shattuck. The back air wow. shield. And, you know, that's something that is good for Oryx to sort of force Shattuck to respect is that kind of wall of hitboxes and the ability to mash out of what's normally, you know, so true of a situation yeah. for Corrin to get those hits. Oryx is like, no, I got the frame data to mash out of this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the nares. Yeah. We're just looking to try to close this first stock. Shattuck's had a crispy cool 150%. Mm -hmm. And he's chilling. I've well, never seen a more chilling man. Oh, he's gone. He's a goner. The pair. He's, uh, he's, he's, <laughs> he's no longer chilling. He's no longer chilling. He's a little, he's, he's sweating. <laughs> yeah. I really like Shattuck's composure, though. He doesn't panic. He's just like very relaxed, neutral. He just is, wait for you to mess up. Especially early in sets, he yeah. is not going to, going to overthink things. Yeah. Just and that's, playing that, his game. That's that's so you know. I thought he died. <laughs> I thought he SD'd by accident. It's so great to see from a, a competitor as young as Shattuck, right? To see already the makings of like really good mental game because is that's he one 16 of the. Fifteen yet, or that's one of the hardest things to teach. I think he's fifteen. No shot. He's I know that at low tier city seven he was twelve when he beat Danby. That's crazy. Which is just nuts to me. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, just. Shattuck always engaging the young goat. in the game. Oh, he caught the turn up. That was actually so clutch of him. He would have died. Okay. He's kind of moving with these turn ups. Oryx trying to get a grip in the neutral, but just can't get around this big old sword from Corrin. Like I said, man, that's the problem yep. for Peach in this matchup, right? Is that oh, you want to get air. close, but where's the opening? Oh, finds it actually. The turn up tosses. The grab. Right back oh, off and, what an edge guard. Clean stuff from Oryx. And I was going to talk about it earlier that, you know, Oryx loves to get his stocks off of edge guards and ledge traps. And Korn is notoriously one of the toughest characters to lock down there, particularly Shattuck. But Oryx finding that early stock right there with all that rage, and it is a huge boon to get to play with yeah, the lead. He just needs one good hit here, and he could build up like a solid 40%. Be comfortable when he loses his stock. But Shattuck could just out neutral him and pin oh. him. I mean, and look at Shattuck playing so safe Great. in that threat zone. And yeah, Oryx not going to try to mess with that up because if Shattuck holds down, Oryx could be the one dead. Oh, 
awkward situation we got going on Man. right now. Oh, but the grab, that composure. Did I not throw out a single hitbox and just wait it out? And that, that was all conditioned, too, because we saw that, you know, for the previous 40 seconds of Oryx being at that percent, Shattuck did nothing but hop around and do nothing, yeah. right? All those empty lands, and you knew that eventually it was either going to be an aerial or a grab and turned it into a 50-50 that was uh, weirdly in his favor, even yeah. though it's a 50-50. Oh, the fares right now from Oryx, trying to catch Shattuck jumping just in front of him. As Koronoffa does. Oh my god, that up smash was a read and a half. That's, Almost paid off for him, too. You know, normally you'll see Peaches read like the roll in, but Oryx was trying to cover particularly that jump off the ledge to that platform. But Shattuck just has that crazy oh, reaction time. Nice. He jumped into it, though, and Oryx gets game one with two edge guards on Shattuck's Koron. Yeah. That was a beautiful snipe from Oryx. Taking his first game like ever against him, right? That's what you just That said. is the first time he's taken a tournament game from Shattuck. And he don't first, even he don't even look happy. First time he's taken a game, first time he's had a set lead against Shattuck. Yep. Lots of firsts for him, but yeah, Oryx is a he's a businessman, right? He's a he's one of those guys that like he's he's not a a, a mechanical skilled monster, right? In in the ways that you see like, you know, a guy like, you know, Cola or Lighter, yeah. like locally beastly or Lima, right? Like, Oryx thrives because he just has one of the best minds for the game out of anybody out there. Ooh, I like the theme swap. The mm. Tech and music, you just can't go wrong with it. It does go crazy. That is, that has been my song of choice, or like my, my soundtrack of choice. I just, I pop on the Tekken 7 soundtrack and then I go out and I take a walk in 103 degree heat. <laughs> For 50 minutes, I do, I do, like, I'm not changing my route, Texas but I, I need a little extra power to get through it. Yeah. I need that, I need that tech and need music. Need that tech and music. <laughs> the mega power up. Right Shattuck now, looking Oryx, to have it help him out. Oryx on the DFW power up, taking that first game. Trying to defend the local scene from, I mean, at, at this point, it's sort of inarguably the number two in the, in the state, Shattuck. Yeah. We'll see him start up these juggles with these up airs and holding on to that turn up too, trying to catch Shattuck drifting off the stage, but again, him locked down at the ledge, so tough. These juggles from Shattuck are doing a lot for him. Look at all that percent he's got tacked on and the pin. Great tech out from Orcs Ooh. though. The pin again, man. Oh, fair bear, yep. Is he playing Wolf? Basically. I, I forgot that Corrin could do that. Yeah. And I was like, wait a second. It's just Wolf with the sword, to be honest. <laughs> Well, it's good enough as he is, and he like already kind of has a sword. Yeah. Oh, the down air, actually. You don't see that very frequently from Shattuck. I want to point out, by the way, just something very small that Shattuck did there is that he went for that tech chase in. But not only that, he also continued to run to center stage after throwing out his aerial, even though he could have easily reacted to the fact that Oryx had rolled to the right. Because he wanted to make sure that above all else, he doesn't let Oryx go on top of that platform, go over and take stage control. He wants to keep the Peach in the corner. That's why he's been doing so good in this game too. Overall is oh that- Oh my God. He's Oryx just has just not been in control. Him. Oh, the fair? No snipe though. Shattuck with a very comfy wow. lead, but gets countered. But oh, it's so unfortunate. That, you hate to see it. Shattuck went so low that he SD'd, but at that point, Oryx was already mentally so committed to getting off that counter that it actually ended up drawing him in for... I mean, it looked like it was really bad for Shattuck, as it turns out, great trade for him. Yep. Perfect stuff. And now Oryx is on his last stock of the second game already. Already on his last stock. It's been like Oof. two minutes. You know, Oryx, we know him as a guy to make the games take oh, a little bit longer. Oh, the Peach Bomber. Play that long game, but Shattuck has not been drawn into it. Yeah, he's not allowing it. He's not letting him breathe this game. But getting a little grab, finds the tech chase with the up air. Little juggle from Oryx. Oh, Ooh. big juggle, actually. Probably might see that transfer immediately into a fair, but playing it patiently. Yep. Big patience on the getting back to stage perfectly. The back air, though, finds its mark, and now Oryx is in quite the hairy position, still managing to recover. I'm like that was the craziest movement I've ever seen. Out yeah, of <laughs> he just like teleported onto the platform. Well, the light speed oh, hands give him the game. Not, not enough quite yet. Becker though. Yeah, that's yeah. it. No options there for Oryx. Good stuff from Shattuck. Dominating on that counter pick. My mm -hmm. lord, my man was looking comfy. Peach usually does love some smaller stages, but you pair together small stage and platforms for Corrin, and you're going to struggle. So Oryx looking to there's widen no, things out once again by going back to PS2. Yeah, there's not a lot of that, right? 
What's up? No lie that? I don't think so, no. For real. I would, uh, I would have to, you know, crowns around here somewhere. I'm sure we could get the, get the stage list. I'm a Lilat fan. You know what? Shake on that. I like Lilat too. It just I like, looks cool. I think, I think we need more weird stages. Yeah. Add spice to the game. I thought, I thought the game Invitational was so fun because I was like, oh, look at all these fun stages, and they never got picked. Yeah, like, of okay. course. You PS2 the whole tournament. Like, like, what, was, what was the point of so experimenting annoying. when 50% of the games are on PS2? Like, yeah. Whatever. So annoying. But now we're here. The important part is PS2 is the venue for this game number three. It's Oryx's counter pick, and you know, you talked about it. Shattuck just didn't even give Oryx the chance to slow down that game yep. in game number two. This time. Oryx does get that opportunity with the stage being a little bit bigger, but if Shattuck can stay up close, plan may fall to the wayside. The pin, Oryx getting a little turn of pull. See you swap back to the Peach, or the uh, Daisy. He's a big swapper. Yeah, Oryx is one of the few people that does actually go back and forth. It's just a, it's a mood thing, I think. Honestly, I just I just say, ah, Peach, whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you all know what I mean. Daisy. Oh. I, say, I think Paisy does sound right better now. than Deech. Yeah. <laughs> D not Deech, bro. That's, Don't ever say so, that. Sounds like a slur, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I mean, <laughs> somebody in Twitch chat's going to be like, yo, you're, the New Zealanders are unhappy with you right now. <laughs> not the New Zealanders. <laughs> oh, the patience right now from Shattuck just waiting in that shield. Getting caught by that fair, though. Oryx in a pretty favorable position. And look okay, at that. He's not. Man the bear. No snipe. Guess the counter. Not Great gonna DI. kill. Wait a minute. What? How did, wait, huh? it's Oryx out there? Wait, huh? what? what happened? Why did he get? S <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I'm so confused. I, I like. I looked down and I was like, wait a second. That's a that's a Daisy fall. Yeah. Sky, that's like. I was like, what's going on? Oh, either way, I think. Shattuck either way, he's dead. Hoovered around that counter, gets the first stock. Ooh, and 120 though for Oryx's side. Just needs one good solid back here to do it. Maybe two. I, I was about to say, back there, you better have the, the core and right in the corner. And yeah, exactly. Getting that stage control back from Shattuck, even when you're invincible, is a tall order. Fair trades. Not enough, though. It's honestly not even a good trade for Oryx, because all the damage that Shattuck gets is just butter Extra right now. credit. Oh, the back air. Just whiffing. Can Oryx catch Shattuck's getup? Nope. Oh my god, he's just retreating the ledge over and over. Reset. He wants to see if Oryx will give him some kind of commitment oh, so what he a turn get back to center, and that's going to be and good. And a fair. Great stuff from Oryx. Finally closing up that second stock of Shaddix and eating an F smash immediately off the Angel platform. My man's crazy with it. He just let that one rip. <laughs> and you know what? Why not? It's a good forward smash. <laughs> not going to hold you. Yeah, it is kind of nuts. Oh, Shaddix again. The, the spacing. The patience and the spacing. So I was not this well disciplined when I was in high school. Yeah, for real. I, I couldn't even stop myself from eating a whole sleeve of Oreos in one this, day. This guy does his homework, bro. Oh god, <laughs> he <laughs> actually does his homework. Like he's never asked somebody for their answers to just change it up a little bit so the teacher doesn't notice. Oh, the how to pay wow, the two frame. But the drift from Shattuck Oryx thought he was going to go low and had already committed to tossing on the turn up. Not enough to kill, but it's so close. Oh, I thought he was gonna get grabbed. Start doing a Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna lie, me too. A little scary, man. <laughs> I thought I thought that was it. I fear for Orcs' life. 120, 90, better man. It's one more of those pins, and he is gonna be gone. The fair, obviously not gonna do it, but the back air, he's fishing for it right now. My man's hunting. He's got a shotgun in his hand. Ooh, oh, okay, again the time. movement from Shattuck. That was dirty. <laughs> he looks like a synchronized swimming routine. Yeah, he's, just, he's just twirling around in those short hops, and I'm like, oh, God, when's he going to land? Yeah. I'd set my controller Brad? down. I'd be like, yeah, you got it. Turn upside? Nope, just whips. And again, Shattuck, um, on game one and here in this game three, has been so consistent with Oryx, pulls out a turn up, and he goes all the way under the stage if he has that double jump available so that he doesn't even have a chance to get hit by that turn up. Great parry on the Peach Bomber, and look at this punish. Wow. 60? Oh, 54, actually. If you don't get that parry, you get nothing. Instead, Shattuck, a nice punish. Yeah, great conversion coming out. Oh, my God. It's looking so tough for Oryx right now. He cannot get a grip on this stage. Oh, I thought he was dead off of back air. I, yeah, I thought that he was going to wait for an air dodge and look for either that up air or that back air, but Shattuck just not letting Oryx just out walk his up and S smash it. <laughs> He's been putting in some work. Oh, the back air finally closing it out for Oryx. 
One stock needs like two good combos to catch back up here. Oh, the tipper! The tipper! Man, you can see Oryx yeah, he's realizing. Yeah, he's a little angry at that He's one. like, man, I have to respect that forward smash because Shaddock started realizing that that particular space that Oryx is playing at, really good to react to any of the other Corrin options, right? Where, okay, like maybe you want to drift towards and forward air me or something, right? That's the perfect spacing for that. But it's also the perfect spacing to get Tipper F smash. Yeah. That's why we saw Shattuck throw so many of them out. Smart stuff coming out from Shattuck. My man's a genius. Ahead of his time, for real. Genius prodigy. Go! We'll 10. see. Will it be enough to get him in to winner side of top eight? He's got to take one more game against Oryx, an opponent that has not eluded him in the past. Yeah. But we have seen Oryx turn the tables oh. around once tonight. Can he do it twice more? It's definitely possible, especially the way he's playing this game. The turnips are coming in clutch for him. You know, those turnips are just so important for Peach to command the mid game. But yeah. one of the only reasons that we haven't seen them be as effective is because a lot of times Oryx has been pretty predictable with the throw timing of the turnips. And yeah. Shattuck has just been challenging that by, like, fairing them out of the air. Oh, not enough. I thought that was going to hit him. <laughs> that was close. I would not be as confident as Oryx was. <laughs> yeah, my man was calm, cool, and collected out there. He said, nah, that's missing. Oh, the fair. Good stuff for Oryx. Trying to get this edge guard. Nope. Again, light trapping Shadow. That's just dash. Sucked that, short. Why is that getup attack so enormous, bro? <laughs> Sword. Oh. And again, we see Oryx just doesn't have the chance to toss that turn up down because Shadow's recovering below the stage. But back air at the ledge. Oryx get to play with the lead. He might as well just throw it up for the mix up at least. Yeah, something, right? Like, maybe if I'm not going to get the ledge guard, maybe I haven't helped with the ledge trap, but oh, the Dragon Fang shot takes yeah. a bite out of Oryx. Yeah, finally, finally connecting that. He's been throwing that out semi-frequently, I'd say. And there's the 35% for Oryx. Classic Peach stuff. And we'll see Oryx take to the skies off that Phantom Footstool. Actually puts him in a really bad position, given... You know, just how good Shattuck has been in these juggles and takes out of the all the, for himself. Out of all the cool fleet tech that's in the game now, I feel like uh, Phantom Footstool is definitely the one that actually, like, significantly did something for the meta. <laughs> I haven't seen, like, I heard slingshotting is cool and all that, but, like, it'll, I it'll, don't think it's that crazy. It's, it's, it's a technical thing, so I think it'll take a while for people to, because, you know, like, yeah. it, took, it took a few years for wave dashing to have importance in melee. Yeah, Not saying that point. slingshotting is going to be wave dashing, but no, it's it's got to have a little time to cook, and people have found really great timing mix-ups off of those Phantom Footstools. Right now, though, Shattuck not even worrying about all that. He's trying to get himself oh, back in the game. Oh, no! Dead, sir. You hate to see it. Man, again, forward smash just put What are you so even doing in that work. situation? I uh, still don't know what the correct die. option is. <laughs> the option there? Die. You yeah. actually don't have options. That's so... This game sucks. <laughs> it's <laughs> like Bowser here. hitting you with the neutral B on your shield. You're like, okay, I'm going to take a Oh, there's a side B sending him off stage. Oh, and the tipper, and the tipper. not enough. But the back air, my <laughs> God, what an edge guard from Shattuck to close out that game four. He had red lights flashing like a traffic jam there. Yeah. At the end. Sheesh. Three to one victory. Oryx does claim his first yeah, game win game, on though. Shattuck. But Looking pretty solid, I might say as well. But it's just like it, it, it kind of, it does look like a very hard matchup. Like that, it that is. was tough. <laughs> Especially against a guy like Shattuck, yeah. right? As good as he is. His recovery patterns, man, like. The way he's recovering against those turnips. Yeah. If I you're mean, a corn player, you better you better watch that VOD right I, there. I know that MK Leo learned how to play corn by watching Shattuck. That's all I'm saying. That's kind of respectable. Oh! That's that's all I this know. This is a fire set. Ooh, we got woo. Waltz on the Mega Man versus Lima. Man, I haven't seen Waltz play in a minute. I just commentated one of the sets earlier. That's awesome. That I mean, that's honestly awesome because I just don't see... Mega Man anymore. I think yeah. I, was, I was listening to Kony talk about this on the on the CEO stream uh, mm -hmm. today as well because Peepnut was playing and did like really really yeah. well at CEO, but we just don't have a whole lot of, of Mega Man's like out there killing it at the moment. But For Waltz sure. is definitely one of them. At least here, locally. Sure, surely yeah. locally. Yeah, but I, you know, if you 